Let us see some problems on acceleration and retardation. Problem 1. A train starting from a railway station attains a speed of 21 meters per second in 1 minute. Find its acceleration. So what are the given parameters? Initial velocity of a train, since it is starting from a station, it is 0. And speed of the train, which is also a velocity of the train, which is V, is 21 meters per second. Now the time taken for achieving this speed is 1 minute, which is 60 seconds. So it's better to convert everything into the same units, which is for the time it is second. So the acceleration A is given as V minus U by T. Final velocity minus initial velocity by time taken. In this case, it's 21 minus 0 meters per second by T is 60 seconds, which is 21 by 60 meters per second per second which is in but 0.35 meters per second square. So the acceleration is 0.35 meters per second square. Problem 2. A motorcyclist starts from rest and reaches a speed of 6 meters per second after traveling with uniform acceleration for 3 seconds. What is his acceleration? What are the given parameters? Initial velocity of the cyclist, which is u, is equal to 0 as he started from rest. And final velocity of cyclist, which is v, is equal to 6 meter per second. To reach the 6 meters per second, he took 3 seconds. So the time taken t is 3 seconds. Now the acceleration is 0 is equal to v minus u by t. In this case 6 minus 0 by 3 which is 6 by 3 which is 2 meters per second square. Let us put the dimensions so that we will not forget at the end meters per second and second so meter per second square. Hence the acceleration of the motorcyclist is 2 meters per second square. Problem 3. If a bus traveling at 20 meters per second is subjected to a steady retardation of 5 meter per second square, how long will it take to come to rest? And the given parameter, the retardation, which is nothing but a negative acceleration, given as 5 meter per second square. So if retardation is 5 meter per second square, since acceleration is negative, we will say acceleration is minus 5 meter per second square. Having said that, now the bus is traveling at 20 meters per second and coming to rest. So the initial velocity u is 20 meter per second and final velocity v is 0 as the bus is coming to rest. Let's find out how much time it takes to come to rest. So the acceleration is given by v minus u by t. 
So in this case, V is 0 and U is 20 meter per second by T. T is an unknown factor. And A is minus 5 meter per second square. Then T is equal to minus 20 meter per second divided by minus 5 meter per second square. The minus minus cancels. 5 fourths meter meter second second. So this becomes 4 seconds. So therefore, for the bus to come to rest, the time taken is equal to 4 seconds. Problem 4. A bus decreases its speed from 80 km per hour to 60 km in 5 seconds. Find the acceleration of the bus. Given parameters are initial velocity u is equal to 80 km per hour. Final velocity of the bus v is equal to 60 km per hour. Time taken t is equal to 5 seconds. Now the acceleration of the bus is given from the formula v minus u by t. In this case 60 is the final velocity, 80 is the initial velocity and 5 which is kilometer per hour, which is second, which is minus 20 kilometer per hour by 5 seconds. It's always better to convert everything into the units that we want since acceleration is in meter per second square. So let us convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, which is 5 by 18 meter per second. Hence, when we apply 1 kilometer per hour is 5 by 18 meter per second minus 20 into 5 by 18 into 1 by 5 meter per second square. Which is minus 1.1 1 .1 meter per second square. Hence, the acceleration of the bus is 1.1 1 .1 meter per second square.